Oh, oh yeah, I was wondering, have you, I don't know, um, I know Armin has, but have you seen much of Andrew Tate? <laughs> I kind of, I know Andrew Tate from before he like blew up over the past few months. Yeah. Oh, oh is, do you guys used to hang out or something? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> not personally. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if I did used to personally my, hang out with Andrew Tate. My next no, video. I, my next I video just, is a... Um, yeah, go ahead. Like, I knew who he was before he all of a sudden, like, caught the algorithm wave and is, like, blown up. Yeah. My, uh, no, I knew of him. I only knew that he used to date Michaela Peterson, so Jordan Peterson's daughter. They dated? Uh, yeah. No way. <laughs> what? And um, I know uh, Armin had a chat with uh, this dating coach who both of them are friends. So that's as far as I know. That's like the closest I am to Andrew Tate is that I know one guy who's friends with him. Wait, AP is saying Andrew Tate is a loser. He's nothing compared to Armin. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Wait, I'm doing when a... did Armin... My wait, next video did... is on him. My God. That talk you had with the dating coach, is that already out? Like, is it live? Yes. You never sent that to me. I thought you already f you knew. I was wondering why you didn't comment to me. Okay, no, you, I it. thought you were going to send it to me when it was out. Okay, because I okay, need to okay. see this. I need okay, to see okay. this. I'll send it. Wait, so what do you want to talk about, Andrew Tate, Vikram? Yeah, no, I well, I was thinking, it, yeah, I think, I mean, like, I'd love to talk to you in, like, a, one, like a longer call about it later. But I was thinking that um, I think he's a really good marketer. He's found out the trick to to be everywhere on everyone's social media. It doesn't matter whether you click not interested, don't recommend channel, whatever you do, he'll be there. And ultimately, he's probably a scammer because I've heard that he has a whole Definitely. scheme that he what? does. He's not probably a scammer. He's a, he says he's a scammer. He admits to being a scammer. Uh by what I've seen, the thing he admits to is that his webcam thing that he has with the women, that's a, that's a scam. That's completely a scam. But I, I don't know if he admits to what he's doing with Hustler University. Okay, but even, oh. if, Hustler's, even if Hustler's University is a scam, he, he, he admits that he does do scams. So that makes him a scammer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's no, there's no doubt that he is. I mean, he says it himself, right? It's, yeah, it's very odd how he says it and he still makes money from it. You yeah. Know? I mean, that, I think that here's, how, here's the trick. The trick is um, make people hate you, okay? And then you come to watch him for the hate and you say the most outrageous things where people f find like ridiculous and stupid, right? And to call you out for it. And then when people come to hate watch you, you say obvious. You you add some obvious uh, lines of wisdom that are actually true. Okay, among all that chaos, and the people who expected so much chaos and nonsense from you, they're like, "Oh, he's not that bad. That's true. People got him wrong. I know the real Andrew Tate. People misunderstand him. So this is like you put like a crazy out there for people to catch you, and then you hit them with some obvious cliche, random good advice." And that's the perfect recipe. Well, he, he doesn't even say anything that profound. He just like points out aspects of reality that progressives don't want to talk about because it's like politically inconvenient, basically. Yeah. And so then it seems like he's giving this like secret wisdom, right? Because he's talking about things that other people don't want to talk about. Yeah. But it's amazing. I'm going to do, I'm doing a review of um, Ali Dabo's take on Andrew Tate. I'm going to do an edited video on that. I'm enjoying doing more edited videos. So those are nice. Oh, wait. Guys, yeah. our live chat is having a discussion with that posted prophet. Like, this is really good. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's <laughs> just review prophet. that. A pastor prophet saying Islam good because Muslim women obey their husbands. Yeah, doesn't Andrew Tate said like kind of like endorse Islam because it understands? But isn't Andrew Tate one of those people who says like Islam it's basically is right it's, about it's women. basically like Islam is right about women like that. Islam kind of is right about women. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, uh, as far as I know, uh, like 
Andrew Tate, he's a creationist, right? At least like in his debate with Hassan Piker, he says that he does not believe in evolution. Yeah, he's crazy. Oh yeah, Hassan, Hassan, did, Hassan did a good debate with him. He kind of like, it was really embarrassing for him. Did you watch the debate Hassan did with Andrew Tate? Yeah, uh, I yeah. saw, so I was watching Destiny's stream and Destiny made a review of it. And yeah, that's yeah. that's how I saw it. And um, it's just, yeah. And Sorry. Andrew Tate is just basically anti-science, anti-reality, anti-facts. Like, like he's one of those people who thinks his personal experiences are above research and science. Like one of those stupid idiots. Who thinks mm -hmm. Yeah. Stuff. Like I don't know how many people know, but his dad was like a like a grand master, like international master, or something in chess. Yeah. And he was really good in chess when he was a child, but he just kind of gave up on it later. Mm. But yeah, he's like, he's not dumb. I think he's just, something's wrong with him, you know? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. No, he's I good. find he's, him he's kind of like Trump. entertaining. I'm not even going to lie. I find him incredibly entertaining. He's a, he's like a Trump. The people that are, their main skill, their one and only skill is to sell BS very effectively by being very confident, by being very confident and very aggressive and saying outrageous things, okay? Uh, and just, people are just attracted to that, like they're attracted to watching a car, uh, you know, car crash. So this is exactly like how Trump became successful at sales. He's just that you just have to be very out there and just like. Well, say I think things. He, I think he's he. It's he, people are attracted to charismatic, malignant narcissists. That's what it is. Yeah. He's a lot like Milo Yiannopoulos, you know? Like, he'd say mm -hmm. something super outrageous. Then if you challenge him, he'll just, like, he'll backtrack to something a lot more reasonable. Mm. I posted the prophet saying, but why does he always talk like his mouth is full? I don't know. Is that is that how he talks like? I think it's because he has a strange half-American, half-British accent. It sounds American Oxymor and British at the same time. Oxymoron is saying Trump actually saw a good product. Uh, no, he sold well, but it wasn't. It's not. A, it's not his product. People make products, and they come to Trump like, "Can you put your name on it?" And he's like, "Sure." And he just makes a cut. He doesn't make the products himself. I posted the prophet saying, "No, Milo was cute." Oh, I posted the prophet has a crush on Milo. Well, unfortunately <laughs> for unfortunately for AP, it's too late. Milo is no longer gay. No longer. Oh, gay. that's Sorry, right. He's a Catholic he's been, now. Don't worry, he's been guys. Cured. He's been yeah, cured. Yeah, yeah. He went yeah. back to my people. They're gonna get him right. They're gonna get him no. under control. For well, some no, reason, his idea of what a straight man people. is is like a man with a blonde mullet and like the wraparound razor viper shades. For him, that's what a straight man looks like because that's what he wears now. It's very interesting. Yeah. And like you know how like we often talk about like like left in fighting, but um, mm -hmm. I saw like a, a the right like. Lauren Southern made this huge documentary where like half of it was trashing Milo. It was like a very <laughs> funny thing to watch. That is funny. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah, I think he had like, you know, the book he wrote, Dangerous? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, by what I remember, I think he didn't actually write it. He had like a ghost writer to write it. But then he tried to like, he tried to like, a lie about the guy or something. I don't know. It was like some huge drama in that whole community. Oh my God. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.